Hello and welcome to another week in my life as a SCAD student. This week is a busy one, but a really fun one, so I'm excited to have you guys along. Starting with Sunday, we went to church at CBC, Community Bible Church in Savannah, and then afterwards we went to Chatham, which is one of the SCAD dining halls for lunch. Here are each of our meals that we got. And then by the time we got back to the dorm, I did a little bit of studying before heading to a fashion shoot. Hi, I'm headed to a fashion shoot just to help out a little bit. Gabby's there right now. It's her brother's friend's shoot. The shoot was held at Riverworks Apartments in one of their common rooms. Here's what that area looked like, plus the setup. It was a great team with a beautiful shoot. Here's some of the behind the scenes action of everything. And then I walked outside of the room to overlook the view of the river while reading some of my film textbook. After the shoot was finished, we walked next door to the little pizza place outdoors, watched the cargo ships go by, ate the delicious pizza, and laughed a whole bunch. And of course, when we saw these adorable dogs, we just had to go say hello. After dinner, I drove down Bay Street back to the Hive. 3D design project incoming. It looks so cool! These are real flowers. Shut the front door, it's so cool! <laughs> she look cool! <laughs> Period, Heather! To finish out the rest of the night, I took a shower, folded some laundry, talked with my roommates for a little bit, did my devotion, and went to bed. On Tuesday morning, I woke up a little bit earlier than usual because I had to get to Hamilton Hall before class to host a read-through with two actors that I would be directing later in the week, which you will see. Those two actors were Heather and Tiago. They were great. After the read-through, I went up to class, aka my Film 115 class, and right after, I had my Film 232 class at the Savannah Film Studios. We had an equipment workshop, watched our weekly video assignments, and had a little bit of a lecture. Following class, I drove back to the Hive and ate at the Hive Cafe for lunch. Then I went back to the dorm and recorded a design time video, which we have weekly videos each week. And this particular week's theme was, don't they know it's the end of the world? So I could take that theme and perceive it any way I want to within my video. So I decided to, to call a few of my family members and tell them I love them along with some things that I really appreciate about them. Because a lot of times you talk about all those things at people's funerals. And I think it's so important to make sure that you express gratitude and love towards the people that you have in your life while they're still here so that was my theme and then afterwards i went to a spin class ran into james and nate right afterwards then got some dinner headed back up to the dorm saw what the roomies were doing before taking a shower moisturizing my face brushing my teeth and going into bed after uploading the footage on Tuesday morning, I woke up to get ready for my 8 a.m. class, Design Time, held at her stand hall. I usually just bike or walk over there. On this particular day, I decided to bike, so I packed my things up, headed down to the garage where I store my bike, and made my way there. I love the amount of light that is held within this building because there are so many windows, which for me personally just uplifts the spirit of the learning environment. When I walked into the garden, I saw Jay. Hi guys! <laughs> I then changed into a gym outfit because I had planned to go to the gym, but then stopped at the cafe and we decided that we wanted to go to the beach for the afternoon, which was beautiful. We got to see so many different dolphins swimming around, which was just a joy. We saw them actually quite a few times in the spring while going to the beach, which was wonderful. We also played sand tic-tac-toe. By the time we got back to the car, we discovered that we were 20 minutes over the pass that was on it, so we had to go to the parking office and pay for the ticket. We learned a lesson and definitely download the Park Tybee app, which allows you to just add on time to your pass if you're out. When it got back to the dorm, Reese had gone 
through her art supplies and decided to give away a bunch. We are doing a video that's probably gonna be out before this vlog. We are walking to the pool. Gonna get some insight about SCAD from some random people. That SCAD advice video was posted about three videos ago, so go check it out. We just wrapped up our interviews. Lots of great content, lots yeah. of great people. Appreciate anybody and everybody who's involved. Yes. On our walk back, there was the most stunning sunset ever. Then Reese, Molly, and I researched classes. This is the stress of figuring out the classes you're gonna register for for the next quarter, the night before registration. After getting everything sorted for the classes I wanted, I got ready for bed, did my devotion, and said goodnight. On Wednesday morning, I woke up and got ready for the day, and then grabbed a sandwich from the refrigerator, which I had gotten at the deli the night before in the Hive Cafe. Heather, Lainey, and I made our way to class at Hamilton. They had acting for the camera, and I had my Film 115 class. Directly after, I had my Film 232 class, where after the lesson, we reviewed the lighting setup we'd have to do for our final exam. So I just registered for classes, got into all the classes I need for the next fall. Now I'm gonna head down to the dining hall and get some lunch. After lunch, I had a pretty chill rest of the day, just preparing for the busy weekend ahead. I spent some time with my roommates back at the dorm, studied, got some dinner, and went to bed. Thursday morning, I woke up a little bit earlier so that I could go to SCAD Fit before class to get a little bit of a workout in before a long day ahead. I went into the yoga studio, stretched a little bit before a core workout, which I decided to time lapse, which I thought would look cool, but it looked kind of crazy. <laughs> After that, I biked over to Hair Stand Hall for my design time class. Following class, I went to Be Fuel to grab a smoothie and a snack before driving over to the film studios to pick up equipment that we needed for set all weekend for my Film 232 class. We loaded everything into the cars. I drove back, showered, and got ready. So that's at three. It is 101 now, so I'll probably head over there at 2.50, get there early because it's my set. Make sure everything's in place and we'll start just heading up and then camera up by four. Here we go. I ate lunch at the Hive Cafe, which on this particular day was so delicious. They had chocolate covered strawberries, curly fries, corn, pulled pork barbecue sandwiches. I popped back by the dorm after lunch to make a Mother's Day card for my mom and drop it at the mail center on my way to the film studios. Just got to the set location, AKA the XR stage. We have to unload all this equipment. There's more in the back. Guys, our beautiful location is too windy. There's people mowing the lawn, people driving by, it's just not gonna work. So we're packing up. By chance, it was lawn mowing day outside of our set location, so always have a backup, in which we did inside of the film studios. For this project, each of our five group members had to interpret the same script in different ways. So we had five sets that weekend, but we couldn't change the dialogue of the script. We could change everything else. We had different actors, settings, and themes. When we wrapped for the night, I went to Bee Fuel to get a frappuccino and some watermelon, then discovered that the elevator was broken when I had to lug up this giant case of lights up the stairs and I literally couldn't do it without Heather's help. She was so sweet. She, the lights were out. She was in bed, answered the phone, and had to help me carry up the case all the way up four flights of stairs. We did. I had to get it up there so that I could charge the lights for set the next day. Next morning, I somehow managed to get the case out of the building. I have a makeup class for my Monday, Wednesday. I am going to the first part of it, but then I have a student ambassador event. It's not a testing session, but like a study session for testing into the program. And then I, right after that, I'm gonna grab some food and then I'm gonna go to set, two more sets. This was a makeup class for my Film 115 pre-production to set. On to the next thing. I drove to Deloitte Foundry for the study session, got some food at the Hive, and headed to set. Following set, I went to Chatham to get a Dorito taco salad. After getting back to the dorm, I decided to go to the C store to get an ice cream sandwich. All right, vlog. I made my first Lululemon purchases today. We have this beautiful wide skirt. I was like, why not get a full outfit, right? Right. Because <gasps> I have the money for it. Wait. <laughs> Wait, that's so cute. You are tennis girl. Yeah. That's definitely like your boss girl walks to Forsyth vibe. Yes, half girl walk. Reese, what are you doing? Thinking about posting something. Guys, she's 
she's so cool. Go like it. Go like it. Go, go like, like it. it. Reese underscore Morrow. Yeah. Chatham is delicious, folks. Yes. What kind of pizza did you get, Riley? Barbecue chicken, and it's mm. so good. Like, seriously, 10 out of 10. It looks delicious. I ate part of my ice cream sandwich and then sat while Reese did a little bit of a fashion show, trying to pick an outfit for an event. On Saturday morning, I woke up, painted my nails, and decided to go to Origin Coffee Bar to study and eat some breakfast. Out of all the coffee shops I've tried, their atmosphere and food is my favorite. I downloaded footage from set the day before and started putting together a rough cut. Following Origin Coffee Bar, I went to Ex Libris to pick up a couple of gift cards to mail as a birthday gift for a family member. After making a card and putting the gift cards in, I dropped it off at the mail center. After getting back, I had the rest of my ice cream sandwich from the night before, stopped by the dorm to get a few things, dropped by the Hive Cafe, and then went to the film studios for set number five. This member of the group had a horror theme to her interpretation of the script, and she did a really great job directing, as did we all working as a team. We rocked! Woo! When I got back to the dorm, I finished some film work and went to sleep. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.